what's your first thing you need to do? The crime scene. Yeah, wrong. Basically, put your hands in your pockets, watch where you're stepping, kind of get your head around what you're seeing, what's going on. You see a dead guy, uh, blue shirt or white shirt, somebody knows the casing there. So the first thing we want to do is not kick it all the way to the other side of the room. Feel me. Real world, dude. That's what happens. <laughs> I'm glad I got pictures of it. So. <laughs> now what's the problem? They put your pockets in. They're not where they were. Jesus. Is this guy doing any shooting? Yes. With your hands duct taped behind your head? <laughs> I could have done that after I shot him. That's thank you. <laughs> okay, what, what do you know about a semi automatic pistol? <laughs> What are you casing is going to do? They're going to eject. Um, a Glock is generally straight up and to the right. It is, it's going to come up at an arc and go to the right. We got bullet holes in the back. We got casings to the right. We got a gun down there. The bad guys do stupid stuff, like drop their gun, throw their gun down, leave their gun. Yeah. So, based on their casings, before they started migrating, <laughs> everything is from center of him to the right, so that makes you think shooter's probably here. There may have been some kind of getting his billfold, they hear a siren, gun falls. What do you may 